Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally bringing you my wooden brush video. You guys have asked me forever and ever to do this video on wooden brushes, how I clean them, where I get mine from, why I like them so much, and all of that stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am in a different setup. Um, this is how it's going to be from now on on my channel probably. I like my other setup a lot better, but it's actually in my living room and it's just impossible to work around my family's schedules to find time to film when like no one's home and stuff because it's our common area like I live in an apartment so my living room is kind of always occupied and it's hard for me to kind of kick everyone out and tell everyone to be quiet while I film for like half an hour or to an hour so this is where it's going to be and this is my bedroom anyway so I feel a little bit more relaxed and here you guys can see some of my stuff kind of see what I'm about I hope this is okay with you guys I hope you like it and um, without further ado let's just get into the video some of the most asked questions I get are what kind of brush I use and how I clean it so I'm going to be showing you how I clean my brushes later on in the video but the brushes I use are actually tech brushes and I have two of them these were not sent to me I purchased these on my own I think my mom got me this one for Christmas actually last year and I bought this one for myself so I've had these for a year now and I've been using wooden brushes for about a year and a half in general so these are the two brushes I have this one is the I think it's called the big oval brush with regular pins and by regular pins it just is like the length of the pins themselves so this is like the standard like normal ones they do have brushes with long pins um, if you have like thicker or coarser hair than I do and this is just a rectangular brush with regular pins as well and this is the one I take with me when I travel so I'll take it to school in my backpack I kind of keep it in my purse when I'm going around um, if I'm sleeping over at somebody's house I'll take this one just because it's easier to store so these brushes are a little bit more pricey than some of the other ones I've seen out there the first one of brush that I ever had was some like no-name brand brush from my local health store and I think I got it for like six dollars it did the job it was perfectly fine I just wanted to upgrade and get something that was a little bit better quality that I know will last me a long time because I swear like these are the only brushes I will ever use again like I will never buy a, a plastic brush again that's for sure and I would rather just spend the money and get something that's going to last me for a long time especially this one since I travel with it so I need something that's going to last I hate when the pins break off like my plastic brushes pins would always fall out or they just wouldn't reach all the way through my hair to like detangle it properly and it was just annoying so I'd rather spend the money and get something that's gonna last me and that's gonna do the job properly so these brushes are actually made in Italy and the Italians know what they're doing when it comes to making wooden brushes the body of these brushes are made of <clears throat> excuse me these brushes are made of 100% FSC certified ash wood and the pins are made of 100% FSC certified hornbeam wood so they're really nice quality and the black push pin part is just 100% pure rubber and I'm going to go into a little bit why I love using wooden brushes so much and why I'll never go back to plastic. So one of the biggest reasons why I love wooden brushes so much is that they actually help to redistribute oil from your scalp throughout the rest of your hair. Your scalp naturally produces oils, your skin naturally produces sebum so as you're brushing your hair it helps to drag down the oil throughout the rest of your hair and now plastic brushes do that as well but not as well as wooden brushes do. I find that the wooden brush pins actually absorb your oils and help to redistribute them a little bit better but another reason why I love these is because they actually really help to eliminate static and it's Canada where I live it's really cold and in the winter my hair is just like a, like so staticky it looks like I have my hand on one of those like electric balls like at the science center I just look like a freaking mad scientist all the time so these brushes have really helped to eliminate static for me um, mainly because the pad here is rubber so that really helps and the wood like I said helps to distribute your natural oils and when your hair is more moisturized it's less staticky so kind of two in one which I really really like I don't know if you've noticed either but the bristles on these wooden brushes are typically farther apart than on a plastic brush which makes them a lot more gentle on your hair so you're going to have less breakage and less tearing from brushing also if you can see on the brushes there's no little bulb on the end like as like they're just completely straight there's no little ball on the top and if you can even if you're using a plastic brush try to use something like the tangle teaser that doesn't have that on the top because that literally rips your hair out when you're trying to get through tangles it just makes it way harder to detangle your hair so these are really nice to detangle my hair I don't have any issues with detangling usually when I was using a tangle teaser before it actually didn't really do much for me it didn't hurt my hair when I would brush but I just didn't feel like it was actually getting through all my hair like it would only get through the top layer these go all the way through my hair and they don't rip my hair out so that's a plus something that I found really interesting about wooden brushes that I didn't know is that they actually help to stimulate acupuncture points on your scalp when you're brushing so when I brush my hair I like to really take my time 
and go through my scalp really nicely and gently and kind of give myself like a mini scalp massage with my brush. Obviously you guys know already but stimulating your scalp helps to promote blood flow which will help to stimulate hair growth. So if you're giving yourself a little scalp massage with your wooden brush, it will help to grow your hair a little bit. And it also just feels really good. So those are some reasons why I love the wooden brush so much. And now I'm going to show you guys how I clean it because I get tons and tons of questions. So let's just get into that portion of the video. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to clean my brush is pull all the hair out as much as I can. It's kind of hard to get all of it out, but... I try to pull the hair out of my brush at least once like every other day or so just so it doesn't build up and get super matted. And then I take a pair of tweezers and I go through each bristle and I pull off that little clump of like dust or I don't know I guess it must be like a buildup of dry shampoo, of oil, of dead skin, all the stuff that kind of goes along with hair brushing so I try to pull that off of each bristle. This kind of takes a while but I usually like to do it while I'm watching TV or watching YouTube videos or something so it kind of keeps my hands busy and I get my brush clean. The fact that these pins have no bulbs on the end just makes this process so much easier as well. You can also get your brush wet under the tab and use like a toothbrush or something to get in between the pins to really scrub them and then just lay your brush face down to dry. my brushes I try to clean them at least once every few weeks I kind of suck on it sometimes but if you do this weekly you won't have as much buildup in the brush and it'll be a lot easier to clean when you do and now I just want to answer some frequently asked questions I get about brushing in general a lot of you guys ask me how often you should be brushing your hair and if brushing your hair is damaging to the hair so yes brushing your hair can definitely damage your hair especially if you're not being gentle with it and you're kind of just ripping your brush through there to get it done so I try to brush my hair at least once a day and I only find that I need once a day if I'm like doing my routine properly so if you guys haven't seen my winter hair care routine yet I'll have it up in the card in that video I mentioned that before bed I always comb through my hair add some of my rose hair elixir or a little bit of argan oil or something to keep my ends hydrated and then I braid it so after I've, I brush my hair at night and I braid it I really don't have a need to brush it again in the morning because it was protected all night there's no tangles it wasn't out and like getting all crazy so the next morning I can kind of just take it out of the braid and either Either rebraid it so I can go to work or go to school or I'll just leave it out for the day regardless though even if I have it in a braid all day long at school I do like to come home at night and brush it just to kind of redistribute my oils and I find that it helps to keep my hair from looking really greasy the more I kind of like distribute it the better it is and like I said earlier it's really good for stimulating your scalp so before bed I really like to give myself a nice hairbrush but if I don't do my hair care routine properly and I get lazy at night and I sleep with it open brushing my hair is a literal nightmare you guys the only thing that will help me is my mellow out detangler and I actually don't have it with me because I left it at my boyfriend's house but I've talked about it so many times again check out my winter hair care routine video and I'll have it linked down below it's the only detangler that actually works for my hair and I will have to use it if I don't sleep with my hair in a braid but with the wooden brush like I said earlier the pins are further apart so it's a lot more gentle on the hair so it's not as painful the pins are also very flexible I think I forgot to mention it earlier but as you can see they do bend quite a bit like not the pin itself but like the rubber part gives it a lot of allowance for how far I can bend so it's not like stiffly just like ripping through your hair it kind of moves with your hair which I really appreciate because brushing my hair is probably one of the worst things that I have to go through in a day if I don't keep my hair in a braid. As for how often you should be brushing your hair, that completely depends on your hair type and your routine. Um, a lot of people, especially with curlier and wavy hair types, don't need to brush their hair throughout the week. Like they really only need to be detangling right before a wash or like after a wash or whatever. So I'm not going to tell you like you should only be brushing your hair this much because it really depends on your hair type and what you're comfortable with. When brushing your hair, I'm sure you guys all know this already or you've at least heard it before. Try to start brushing from the bottom up. So what I mean by that is I start really gently with my ends and I kind of just take my time working my way up. 
and I like to hold my hair just a few inches above where I'm starting to brush because I find that it just doesn't yank so much from my scalp you know what I mean like I'm not ripping out as much hair i also get asked a lot how much hair i lose when i brush my hair and i'd say that i lose a normal amount in my hair loss video which i'll have up in the cards as well i did mention that it's normal to lose between 150 to 200 250 strands a day so brushing your hair and shedding is not abnormal i really wouldn't worry about it um if you're noticing like actual bald spots when you brush or like you're able to pull out like handfuls of hair then that's something that you should be concerned about and you should definitely go see your doctor for but just losing hair when you're brushing it's normal if their price range is just not doable for you i totally understand that and like i said you can find a wooden brush really at any health store um i've seen them at like winners or marshall's i think that's like the same thing as tj maxx so if you have that in your area check out those places um they'll usually have wooden brushes for around the 10 to 15 dollar price range i got my first one like i said at healthy planet and it was six dollars so also check out whole foods especially if you're just kind of looking for one to try out and you're not really sure how you feel about them yet there are so many cheap options but if you are serious about wooden brushes and you want a really good quality one i would highly recommend tech i have had such a great experience this video is not sponsored at all like i said i bought them myself i just really like their stuff and um, i will definitely be repurchasing my boyfriend also has this one because he's in the process of growing out his hair so i got him this one for christmas last year too and he's always talking about how much he loves it he says it feels so good when he brushes his hair on his scalp and i don't know he's just had a really good experience with it so far too so one more thing i forgot to mention is where i buy these so you can buy them on the tech website which i'll have linked down below or you can purchase them on Kalia's website as well. Um, I purchased them off of Kalia's website just because Kalia is a Canadian brand. So it's easier for me to like get it from other parts of Canada than it is for me to order from Europe. But if you live in Europe or in other parts of the world, it's easier to get it from Italy. Shipping might be cheaper for you. Whereas if you live in like Canada, let's say, shipping from Kalia might be cheaper. It just kind of depends. I really hope this video was helpful. I hope I didn't forget any information. If there's anything I forgot to talk about or something that I didn't answer that you're hoping I would, Feel free to leave a comment down below. I try to get to as many comments as possible. I will see you in the next video. I love you all. Bye.